just can you talk about the job that Zoo has done and the difficulty of guarding Jokic? Uh, Jokic, Jokic presents the same type of, I don't know, I wouldn't say problems, but uh, he presents the same thing Don, Don presents, uh, Luca presents. Uh, a lot of flailing, you know, uh, puts a lot of pressures on the referees to make the right call. So uh, I think Zoo did a hell of a job. He used uh, all the six fouls. He did what he needed to do. Big and one dunk at the end, big free throws at the end. Uh, we got to win. I think that's the most important. All right, that's all I got for you. Thank you, Pat. Go ahead. Yeah, Nicola, um, Patrick Beverly said just a couple minutes ago that uh, you do a lot of flailing when you're on the court, and that's why you get a lot of calls. I was just curious if you had a reaction to that or if you take that as an insult or, or what you think. What's a flailing means? I kind of throwing your arms, trying to draw fouls, I guess. They had 26 free throws. We have 10. I mean, uh, I am just showing the ref that it's a foul. All right. Next, we will go to Mike Singh. After game three, Pat Beverly was just kind of asked about the difficulties in uh, defending the call. And obviously his main matchup, uh, Zubac fouled out in uh, 22 minutes last night. Beverly said Jokic like flails a lot. He puts a lot of pressure on the referees to make the right call. Just curious about your reaction to, to that comment. Well, I mean, I don't listen to Patrick Beverly a whole lot. If Kawhi Leonard was talking, maybe I might listen to it. You know, Kawhi is a great player. Um, but all you got to do is look at the stat sheet. Uh, Zubas attempted more free throws than Nikola Jokic. They shot 26 free throws. We shot 10. So I'm not really sure what, what game Patrick is talking about or looking at. But, you know, I, I really don't you know, warrant and give too much attention to that. 